Now, the person that I get to introduce has been working very hard for six years as a coach. So I'm very excited to uh, introduce her. She's been a five-time elite coach. She's been in Success Club 73 months. She is a 10-star diamond coach. And today, big day, big day, she has achieved Legacy Club, which at Beachbody means that all the years of hard work that she has uh, earned over a million dollars, or she's reached a million dollars in all of her earnings over all of the years. So we applaud her for that. She is from Socher, Mississippi. Please welcome Val Bazo. Hello, Val. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, my goodness. Hearing that, just like, it's crazy. So crazy cool. <laughs> Crazy cool. So um, I know you, but maybe the audience doesn't hasn't had the pleasure of knowing your journey to becoming a coach. So share with us uh, why you became a coach. Absolutely. All right, guys. So my journey with Beachbody actually started about 12 years ago with the best program ever, the original P90X. Um, it was playing on an old laptop. We're sitting on a bar stool in my garage, and my husband and I worked out together doing that in between baby nap times. I had just had my first baby, and as we all know, as new moms, the gym kind of becomes non-existent, right? So I ended up getting amazing results just a few months postpartum with my first daughter, and that made me a firm believer in the at-home workout programs, and I kind of just became a lifer right then and there. But I had no idea about this business aspect until about six and a half years ago. My life then looked a whole lot different than it looks now. I was a stay-at-home mom and a military wife. My husband was in and out of deployments. At that time, my daughters were ages three and five, and I was pretty much miserable with myself. And on top of that, my husband and I were drowning in debt. Our marriage was struggling. I was carrying the burden of everything at home while he was serving overseas. Um, and most of the time, I didn't even know where he was at or when we'd get to talk to him, if we'd get to talk to him, kind of how the military life goes. I felt the weight of the world was on me, and it really just shook me. I was struggling with thyroid problems, anxiety, depression, all hitting me full force. And I was just feeling like I was at that rock bottom that you hear people talk about. Well, I happened to get on Facebook one day and I had a message from an old friend. It was a message asking me if I had ever thought about becoming a beach body coach because she had remembered me talking once about how much I loved the program Turbo Fire and I just seemed so passionate about it. I responded to her with, what is that? What is a beach body coach? She told me a little bit about it and immediately the vowel skeptic mind was like, oh, I bet it's one of those pyramid schemes that doesn't work. And I was also that girl who would try like all the at home um, like businesses. So I had done 31 bags in the past, Cutco knives, Mary Kay, Avon, like you name it, I did it and nothing worked. You know, you've heard people say that before. Um, but the funny thing is, is the reason why I was even on the computer to begin with that day was because I was applying for my emergency teaching license to become a teacher here in Mississippi because I had to find a job because of the financial situation that my husband and I were in. And trust me, I did not want to go to work full time away from my babies, but I had no other choice. Little did I know that job offer of my dreams was actually that invite to this beautiful business. And thank God she kept messaging me for like five weeks and literally followed up with me over 30 times. I went back and counted. And I finally said yes, honestly, because number one, I was tired of her messaging me. And number two, she told me that I could sign up for free with the military discount. And friends, that's all that it took for me to sign up. When I hear free, I was all in. I didn't buy the challenge pack. I just signed up as a coach. But honestly, in that moment, I thought, you know what? If I can make like $300 a month to help out with some bills, some groceries, whatever I needed to help my family not have to live less than paycheck to paycheck like we had been doing, then that's what I would do. And I also knew that if I would earn that extra money and make this a no plan B kind of thing, that I'd be able to continue to stay home with my babies while making this business work. So that was six years ago, and it's safe to say that my life has drastically changed, and I'm so thankful that I signed up and went all in as a coach. You know, Val, while I was listening to you, I was thinking that everybody 
watching or listening in this call has a starting point. And you also were match made on Facebook. So Facebook has made so many connections of people to, to become coaches. It's really remarkable. Like, should we give them a percentage? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, incredible story. And at the end of this, you're going to talk a little bit about where your husband is now with the military. So, um, you know, we pick topics for the speakers based on what's going on in the network. So we, we talk about why now, why this topic, why are you speaking on it? And why don't you go ahead and um, share with us your successes? All right. So today I'm speaking to you guys about the promotional codes because I want to make sure that number one, you're really taking advantage of your promotional codes for your customers. And number two, that you're keeping the excitement alive with your coaches and really helping them know how to best use them too. When we launched these last month, I was so excited to get to work and really dive into building momentum around them because you know what? I'm all about a good deal. So that means that my followers are all about a good deal too. So here's how I personally am using the promo codes and how I'm helping my new coaches create that success with them as well. First of all, these promo codes are the best thing ever. And if you haven't seen the value of saving someone $10 on their challenge pack that's already discounted, then you need to shift that perspective pretty fast, okay? I've noticed a big shift in my business since we launched these codes, and I definitely find it easier to start conversations, follow up with people, inviting, and basically all business practices because my energy is so high talking to them, knowing that I have a huge gift for them. But one thing that I know is that when something new is launched, it can be really confusing to know how to implement the change in your business. So I knew that I needed to create simplicity around this for my new coaches and my whole team to get them as excited about it as I was and in return have them gain confidence in using the codes right out of the gate in their business too. I know it can be a bit of a struggle for new coaches starting their business to understand how it all works. I remember starting as a new coach and feeling like I needed to learn everything before I actually got started but I quickly realized that this is a learn as you do kind of business and I had to dive in head first. So knowing that I wanted to make using these coupon codes a fun tool for my coaches to hop on board with versus overcomplicating was key. So I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing first and then I'll switch gears and give you the goods on what I'm doing to lead my team and help them best utilize these codes too. Okay, ready guys? So here's my whole process of how I personally invite and use these codes to either close a sale or to use as a follow-up tool with a mission to close a sale using them. I've been experimenting a little bit and this is what has been working well for me as I talk with people about their goals, why they wanna change their lives, and so on. So first things first, all right? You have to invite in order to have people to talk to. I'm gonna repeat that. You have to invite in order to have people to talk to, right? Okay, so pulling out that business activity tracker and creating time to use it for that one hour a day is so vital to growing your business. I can remember Carl once saying, the vital behaviors are like your vital signs. You know when you go to the doctor and they check your vitals? Well, if you don't have any, then you're dead. So the same goes with your business. If you aren't doing the vitals, your business is dead and it will not grow. So make it your priority. This is our responsibility and what we've all signed up to do. So in my initial invite or connection, I'm simply starting a conversation. It goes something like this. Hey, Julie, I saw you liked my post from last night. I'm not sure if you've seen my stories that I'm gearing up for my next boot camp. Want to snag a spot? Want some info? Or here's another message I might send. Hey babes, I saw you were checking out my stories. Wanted to reach out and say thanks. I'm actually gearing up for my September boot camp if you'd like to stag snag a spot. Did you have a goal in mind that you want to work towards? See, for me, I don't lead with the promo codes. 
if I would just message Sally and say, oh, hey, girl, I have a $10 off promo code for a challenge pack. Do you want to use it and start my boot camp next week or something along those lines? I would have a very low response rate. This is a business that is all about relationships. And if I don't first get to know my potential customer or coach on a little more personal level, then I hear crickets or get ghosted a lot more than if I kick off a conversation asking them about them and their goals, all right? So those are just a few examples of the things that I send to people to start a conversation with them. Remember, if you wouldn't respond to it, then don't send it. This has to be your voice, something that you would say if you were face-to-face -face and an offer that you would want to join, right? So if you sound like a recorded robot, change it up. I also love to use the voice text or even that video option through Facebook and Instagram to send these messages because it shows them that I am in fact a real person and I connect with them a little quicker that way. They see me, they hear me, they can feel my energy right out of the gate, which is the goal for me, for them to feel like I am their best friends through social media because I share my life versus just trying to sell them something. Next. If they respond with yes, they want more information, I immediately ask them, number one, what their goals are and what they're wanting to work towards. And number two, I get their email address. I personally get everyone over to email because it's easier for me to stay organized. And I also had my Facebook shut down for like three days a few years ago and that taught me real quick <laughs> that I needed to step up my game and stop relying on the social media messages as my invites and follow-up lists. All right, that is definitely for another day and another call, but this is what works for me and then it's so much easier for me to send out emails about upcoming challenge group, business opportunity calls, new coach trainings, etc., to those people who have given me their email address. I've also found that it's not always a money thing, guys. It's a time and a trust thing. So I'm going to challenge you to ask yourself a few of these questions. Are you consistent with your business? Are you showing up daily on social media? Can your followers and future followers trust you? Are you practicing what you preach? Because here's the thing. From the second you announce you are a coach or that you're working on yourself in a challenge group or whatever it is, people are watching you and waiting for you to fail. There, I said it. They're waiting for you to fail. That's the truth. Most people are thinking, oh, here goes Sally again, starting that next thing that she's probably going to quit. Let's see how fast that turnover rate is for this one. It's rare that someone hops on your bandwagon the first time you put out that you are a coach that you have a $10 off promotional code, that you have a sale or whatever it is, unless if you're proof the product works and you are taking the time to get to know them and their goals. A promotional code won't close the sale completely for you. Showing up on social media is super important and the promotional code is a tool that will ultimately assist the sale, all right? New coaches really have to slow their role when they're having these conversations actually asking the right question to develop an understanding of why this person is struggling and what they really need. It's that relatability factor within their response and then you pulling something out of that response to connect with them, giving them a piece of advice, and then your promotional code is like coming in with that one, two, three punch. It's a way for you to let that person know that you are committed to helping them achieve X, Y, and Z based off of what they said in your conversation. And then moving on by saying something like, hey sister, I have three promotional codes to give to three people. And I feel like you'd be a perfect person to give one of these two because of the goals you shared with me. Are you up for it? Are you ready to get started? Remember, it's about developing the connection through personal message or email and connecting that with what you are saying on your stories. And then they're like, wow, she only has three promo codes and she's going to give one to me. How awesome. Okay. Rushing to just give a code means that you're missing that relationship building in between. And that leads to being ghosted real quick. So. Once I have their email, I send them a quick form with info about what a challenge group is, what I provide as their coach, 
the program I'm currently doing, which is MM100, obviously, and how they can choose the best package option for their needs and get enrolled. Next, how I'm using these promo codes in my follow-up is really, really key. All right, I use these promo, promo codes in a few ways. Number one, I attach the promo codes to this info email and I put in bold print that they have 24 hours to take advantage of this $10 off promotional deal with the MM100 Challenge Pack offer. I make it exclusive to them, letting them know that I see how excited they are about getting started and I want to gift them with one of three promo codes that Beachbody personally gave me to use. Number two, follow up, follow up, follow up. Remember how I said in the beginning that my coach actually followed up with me over 30 times? There's no, no too many ways to follow up. That's where the magic happens. So here's a typical follow-up message that I send. Hey, Sarah, I know you're excited to snag a spot in my Rockin' Mom Bod Boot Camp that's kicking off next week. I actually was just given a $10 off promo code for the exact challenge pack you're interested in. It's only good until the 20th. Would you like to snag it and get enrolled today? See how I created the sense of urgency? I gave her a deadline. That's key. All right, and number three, stories. Oh my gosh, the best thing ever. Y'all, for me, I don't get a whole lot of people knocking down my door when I do polls about the promo codes directly. But here's what I do get. I get views, and every view is an open invitation for me to direct message someone and say something like, hey sister, I noticed you were watching my stories about my next boot camp. Did you want some info? Would you like to snag one of my $10 off promo codes that I was talking about? Or, hey sister, I noticed you voted on my poll about grabbing one of the promo codes I have for new customers this month. Did you want some info? See how it's a simple strategy every time I'm sending that message? It's simple ways to engage with people and then utilizing the codes in a few different ways. Okay, so next I'm going to walk you guys through how I'm teaching my new coaches to use these promotional codes as well. All right? All right, guys, so I am having my new coaches duplicate what I'm doing. So a leader is just someone who goes first, right? So I literally just share everything that I say, conversations I'm having, how I'm closing and using the promo codes within my team page and on team calls and in my little group chats. I know that when I want something to stick, it is up to me to do the work first and not just share it one or two times and expect people to follow suit. I have to talk about it give examples, celebrate successes over and over again. The biggest challenge was helping my new coaches understand that this is a tool and not something that will just guarantee a sale. They have to still create relationships and not expect someone to sign up right away just because they have a $10 off deal, right? That helps, but it's not typically how the potential customer is ready to make their change in their own life, right? So, I just want to kind of add this, guys. The keys to this business is simple. It's duplication. It's a simple practice repeated daily and one that you start with teaching your challengers who then become coaches and their coaches' coaches, wash, rinse, repeat. So it's no brainer to be about it, share about it, <laughs> invite others, and to do this with us and in the process, giving them fun incentives that can be the sweet spot for sealing the deal. Okay, I know for me, $10 is $10. Like, y'all, I ran a diamond as a new coach just because I saw that there was an $18 psycho bonus being a diamond coach versus that $14 psycho bonus for Emerald. I didn't really have much volume yet as a new coach, but facts are facts. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to lose out on that $4 extra cycle, even if it was just one time in the beginning. I saw what it would turn into, and I wasn't going to miss a beat. Some say I'm the queen of frugal, but I say I'm the queen of budget, and I use that to my advantage. I digress. But in reality, the only person making this business hard is you. Don't be that person holding someone else's destiny in your mouth. Stop being afraid to talk about it or sounding salesy or letting fear of what someone might say or think hold you back. Fear has no place here, and you're doing a disservice to everyone that you are holding back from sharing this opportunity with. 
Wow, wow, wow. Frugal is not a bad word. It should be smart. Okay, that was so, so good. You have so much passion around this and so yep. much um, leadership around trust, building trust first. Leading with the promotional codes sounds a bit salesy, but using them as an assist. I loved what you said there. Um, Val, you've been a coach six years and Yes, this is the last question about personal fulfillment. What has coaching brought to your life? How rewarding has it been for you? I mean, what hasn't coaching brought to my life? And this is where I think this is the favorite part of all of these calls that I've listened to over these last six years, because I can't even begin to express how grateful I am for this company, our mission and everything that's come with it. When I started my business, my husband and I were over $140,000 in non-mortgage debt. He was active duty in the Navy and he was deploying all the time. My kids would beg for their daddy when he was gone. And that was something that broke my heart into pieces. I also knew that the time with the financial burden that we were in, when my kids would start to ask for piano lessons or dance class or soccer lessons or whatever, if I didn't get out of that situation, then I would have to say no and not be able to provide that for them. And I was not going to be the parent who had to tell my kids, we can't afford that when it was something that they wanted to try or to do, or to just, maybe that would be their passion. No way. <laughs> so that was my fuel to really go full speed into this. And six years later, here I sit, a new member of the legacy club that I don't even know if I would ever have believed that I would do <laughs> all those years ago. My husband and I, after working full time as a coach and with his salary, we were able to pay off that $140,000 of debt within three years, and now we have created more financial security than ever imagined. By me going all in with this business, I was able to make enough money to bring my husband home from the Navy, and he's now a stay-at-home dad. He's also a member of the Air Force Reserve, so just continue serving because he loves that part of helping people and serving our country, and he helps me behind the scenes with my business. We have our kids and every activity and sport that so they ask to be in, and the family freedom of this time together is the most precious gift of all. And we also have a, another daughter <laughs> that we added since we began this business, and she's now one. So we have three little girls, and literally because I decided to go in all in with this business, my life has changed. And I do want to add like this, guys, like seeing the success of my coaches creating their own freedom and financial security within my organization is so rewarding like I can't even say it that is like it's like the mom I feel like a mom and a grandma and just so proud seeing them like I can't even tell you how happy it made me to see so many of my team walking across the stage at Summit being recognized for Elite Premier Star Diamond Multi Star Diamond all of the things and my new coaches who are excited to implement these vital behaviors work hard and grow their teams too it just started with a vision and it just started with me sharing this and now I've not only dreamed bigger and huge and continue to strive for more, but I get to lead the way for them to do the same. You know, Val, I didn't say in the beginning when you were sharing your story that it's a perfect example for new coaches to see how a Beachbody story is told and how it's shared. And you breadcrumbed it because I didn't know until the end that your, your husband now is home, stay-at-home dad. It's what you wanted so that the kids could um, be, be, see their fathers and, and you'd be a family. Um, in six years, you have done a lot. And I just want to congratulate you and say thank you so much for sharing your tips today. And um, I'll, see you, I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much, Val. And, you know, coaches, just thinking about the affirmations that I end the calls with, and I, and I looked at this one, every day is a fresh start. And I, and I did it for a reason. And that is, yesterday is yesterday. If you didn't eat wet right, or you didn't work out, or you didn't take advantage of promotional codes, or you didn't do it, today's a fresh start. And tomorrow is a huge day with Shakeology Pumpkin Spice, and uh, the September promo codes are another opportunity. Forget about yesterday. Now is the present. Change your habits. Start focusing on better habits so that in six years, like Val, you look back and say, wow, look at how many people I've helped. Like she didn't know that when she was just starting out, but she knows it now. So it's fun to look back uh, at your progress. 
that you've made. So that's it for me. Everybody have a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye.